Hey kids, welcome back to music class. Today we're going to talk about music history. We're going to go back as far as we can in time and talk about some of the very first music that people created. And we're going to bring that all the way up till today. Okay, so I've created a little PowerPoint that I'd like to share with you. And so let's go ahead and get started here. So music history in five minutes. Here we go. So it says, the history of music is as old as humanity itself, and that's from the History Channel, okay? Music has been around ever since humans have walked the earth during prehistoric times. Some of the first musical instruments included rocks, sticks, and bones which were made into flutes. The first civilizations, such as the Sumerians 4,000 years ago, were the first to write down music in notation form on clay tablets. Yeah, that's a lot different than the tablets we use today, huh? Music was also an important part of life during the Egyptians around two to 3,000 BC, and then the ancient Greeks from 1,000 BC. Yeah, they were some of the first ones to create string instruments, too. So here's what some of these early instruments looked like, okay? Up here we can see a, looks like a cave drawing or painting of people. It looks like they're weighing something and some of them are dancing down here. And it looks like these up here are the band. Someone's shaking something. So look, maybe this person's singing. These people are playing instruments, okay? Here's one of the uh, early drums. Uh, this one comes from Africa. It's thousands of years old. And if we moved over here, here's an ancient flute from uh, Greece, all right? And moving down here, we have an Egyptian painting, yeah, Egypt and Africa, playing a stringed instrument such as this one or this, which is called a lute, L-U-T-E. And here's one of those early flutes made out of bone that we were talking about. Okay, moving on. So now... We've jumped up to 1,000 to 1,400 A.D. Okay, so this is when music started being written for purposes and written down, familiar uh, with how we see it today. Okay, so it started off as Gregorian chant, and uh, these people were monks. Monks lived in the church, and this music is called sacred music since it's from the church and they sang in Latin, which is a very old language that a lot of other languages are derived from, okay? So here's a beautiful church service with people singing, and here's what the monks look like when they would sing, dressed in robes in the church, and here's what early music notation looks like. You can see there's some lines here. There's only four, not five like today, and some of these symbols, they kind of resemble notes, like here, these look like eighth notes, and they have the little ovals, which look like the notes that we see today. And that's what some of the first music looked like when it was written down. Okay, then after that, we had the Renaissance. And this was a rebirth of arts and culture. We've got uh, the famous Mona Lisa, painted by da Vinci here. And here's Michelangelo, who was another famous painter and sculptor. After that, we move up to the 1600s. This is called the Baroque period. And this is where composers really took off. And we had composers like Bach, who also played the organ. He was from Germany. He also worked for a church. And then we had uh, someone else named Handel, and he wrote the famous Hallelujah Chorus. Then moving up a few hundred years to the 1800s, we have classical music. And if you don't recognize this guy from his crazy hair, that's Mr. Beethoven. And he also wrote music for the orchestra which became very popular in the 17 and 1800s. So there's a picture of an orchestra right down there. Okay, now moving up to the 1900s, this is when people started writing songs. Okay, so we had songwriters, and then some of these songs were African-American spirituals, and these were songs that were based off slave songs, and spirituals would lift their spirits, uh, the slaves while they were working, and uh, this also formed the basis of jazz music. So that's what's coming next. Okay, so throughout the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, jazz music became very popular, okay? And it became the foundation of rock and roll and country western music. So here's some old pictures of jazz musicians playing the saxophone, maybe a little banjo. There's a drum set player, looks like a trumpet over here, maybe a piano. Here we've got a clarinet or two. Looks like maybe a trombone, trumpet, string bass, and then there's the guitar. 
Okay, so after jazz music, then we had country western. Okay, so here's Johnny Cash. It's written right there on his guitar. And he's from Nashville, which we have right here. Nashville's also called Music City. And uh, Johnny Cash uh, was born in Hendersonville, which is not too far from here. Okay, so after that, then we had rock and roll, which became very popular in the 60s with people like Elvis. And he was a really good singer and dancer. And other people like Richie Valens, who wrote the song La Bamba, which was so much fun. Okay, then after that, we had Motown, which was very popular, and it came from Detroit. And we had some uh, groups like the Temptations over here. They would sing and dance, and the Drifters. And then we also had the Beach Boys, and their songs were really fun, and they liked to sing about cars a lot. And, of course, going to the beach and surfing. <laughs> that was really popular back then. Okay. And we also had the Beatles. They were from England, and they were also known as the Fab Four. We've talked about them a lot in music class. They're uh, over here. We've got Paul McCartney singing and playing bass, John Lennon, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison on guitar. Okay, moving up to the 70s. Then we had some famous singers like Aretha Franklin. She was a gospel singer, amazing voice. And we had this little group pop up called the Jackson Five, and you might recognize this little boy in just a minute. We'll talk about him more uh, in, a, in a few slides. And you had this rock band called Queen, and they were famous for singing uh, We Will Rock You, We Are the Champions, and the Bohemian Rhapsody, an amazing rock group. Okay, then in the 80s, we had groups like Cool in the Gang, and they had this famous song called Celebrate. It was so much fun. And we had the development of the synthesizer. So it looks like a keyboard, but you can turn all these little buttons and knobs and basically make any sound you want. So you can create all kinds of sounds, and it revolutionized music during the 80s. Okay, and speaking of the 80s, there's Michael Jackson. So there he is all grown up. Okay, he was basically known as the king of pop music. And you had other groups like Journey who sang the song Don't Stop Believin'. Really popular and inspiring song. Okay, <laughs> then in the 90s, we had some pretty uh, famous groups like MC Hammer. He was an artist and he was also known for dancing and wearing these uh, baggy pants. You also had Vanilla Ice who sang Ice, Ice Baby and Britney Spears over here. So they were very popular. Okay, moving on up to the 2000s. Then we had some groups like Destiny's Child. We had NSYNC, the Backstreet Boys, Outkast, and of course CeeLo Green in this crazy outfit. And you might recognize him from The Voice sitting in that big red chair. Okay, so hip hop music was really popular then. And of course there's Beyonce who's from Destiny's Child. She uh, started her solo career and uh, put out a really famous song called Put a Ring on It. You may have heard that one. Okay, and here's some other artists like Taylor Swift. She began her career in country music and then moved to pop music. Okay, moving on, later 2000s, we had other pop groups like the Black Eyed Peas and they sang a song called I've Got a Feeling. You also had Lady Gaga and Rihanna, very popular artists. And that brings us all the way up to today where we have other famous artists like Justin Timberlake, he does pop music, Kendrick Lamar, who's a groundbreaking rapper, and uh, Cardi B, who are, I uh, believe, both or maybe all three Grammy award-winning artists. So there you go. There's a little brief history of music for you. Okay, class. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to go through that PowerPoint. But I'm going to play you a little selection from the pentatonics here. And what they do is they sing little samples of all that music, starting back with the Gregorian chant, all the way up till today. So I'm going to go ahead and play this for you, and we're going to also view the PowerPoint along with it. I think you'll enjoy this. Salve, Regina. Oh, 
So that was pretty awesome, wasn't it? I'd like to thank the Pentatonics for that. I'll include a link for their video that you just heard in my link in the description below. So make sure you check that out too. So I hope you enjoyed that and you learned a little something about music history. And we'll see you next time.